How's it going guys? Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. Welcome to my first episode of uh, my first video podcast. I'm outside. This is lovely. The weather in UK still is nice. And I decided to start this podcast outside because I think it's nice and I think it's going to be a little bit different. So I have an interesting story to tell you, um, which is quite funny and also frustrating as well how many people traveling every day probably they have a different story this is um this is this is all about my traveling to greece um a few days ago i just came back from a holiday my parents live in greece actually they live in crete heraklion as a matter of fact, I can speak Greek. Uh, I've been in Greece like a 10 years. So I think it's 10 years or so maybe less than 10 years. But yeah, Greece is nice. It's a lovely country. I like the food, the weather, amazing people. But my story is with Luton Airport. Uh, I travel... Uh, couple of times I flew I, f I'm f I flew there from like a couple of times uh, if there's no tickets like cheap tickets from Gatwick um, I always uh, try to find a nice good deal and actually the story started three months ago when we booked the the tickets um, so we booked originally from Gatwick to Luton no my mistake so I actually was from Luton because it was the cheapest cheapest tickets um, so the tickets cost about 270 pounds so me and my fiance we bought the tickets I don't know but uh, I for the past couple of years, I always try to book seats as well. I don't know if this is a waste of money. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you book seats or do you just buy the ticket and it depends. It's a random seat. So, But I don't know if it's a waste of money, but I decide to buy ticket, uh, seats. And um, we bought a seats. We bought actually the middle and the aisle seat, which is the last seats on the plane. I don't remember, I think it was 39B and 39C if I'm not wrong, but it's the last seats. And unfortunately, they cancel our flight, so we have to uh, book another flight. Luckily, there was a flight. Fast forward couple of weeks we was ready with the luggage always make sure you uh, have a scale for the luggage make sure you it's 20k because if you if you like it just more than 20k you have to pay fast forward we arrived for the we arrived in the airport it was nice we had a our favorite wasabi uh, there's a restaurant there nice i had a really nice um uh chicken no it was yeah it was chicken and curry um my fiance she had the same everything was great but uh we board the airplane everything is fine we sat down on our seats and maybe five minutes after that the steward lady came and she said that um, if it's possible to move because they have to use the seats for emergency and they said that apparently there's extra staff they have to seat but the plane was okay I mean it was full there was still quite a lot of empty seats even we paid for the seats we decide to help them 
And um, we thought that, okay, probably if it's for emergency, if it's for the staff, that's fine, I understand. We moved to a different seats, luckily. Um, the older three seats was empty. And actually we had the entire three seats for us, which was nice. Um, everything was great. Uh, I spent, me and my fiance, we spent amazing time in Greece. If you have been in Greece before, let me know. But it's an amazing place. Also, Crete is one of the biggest um, islands in, in Greece. So it's a lovely place to be. So we had an amazing time. And now, as always, one week is not enough. But we have to come back here. And this time we booked not the last seats, but... So basically, not the last, there's not another row uh, before the last seats. Um, but this time, same thing, we booked the middle and the aisle seat. We sat down, and after five minutes, behind us, there was a couple. And same thing, the stewards, they said that the seats, they have to be used for emergency and for extra stuff which i mean this is the wrong problem i think um if it's for emergency we don't with without doubt i'm going to st step up my seats i'm going to give the seats obviously if it's for emergency if it's for for the staff no doubt this is uh, end of the day if it's for emergency you have to help even if I paid for the tickets, um, but um, in the end, what happened is actually the staff was sitting there. They was having their lunch and breakfast. Let me open my water. So. They had it. They they had their lunch, um, um, and basically the staff was sitting there. Everything was a lie. Um, it was for emergency. I'm not complaining, but why in the first place they they gonna allow you to book the seats on the first place if the seats are for the emergency? For extra stuff, they should not allow you to book the, the the seats on the first place. But obviously, they do that to make sure that the plane is full, which this is the wrong idea. And actually, there was a another couple on the other side of the plane, last seats. They said that uh, unfortunately they they're not gonna move because they pay for the seats, which is understandable. But we moved on the first place. Uh, but now you know, which I think, I don't know if this happened to you, but this is not the end of the, the story. Oh my God, this was amazing. What happened is, so we land a quarter to 10 in the evening, which was the normal time that we had to land. Actually, uh, we left 30 minutes late, you know, with all the delays, but luckily we land on time. So, according to uh, to the road, to the trains, public transport at night, we had to be at home nearly one and a half hour, two hours. But what happened is we land and we had to stay one hour in in the plane. So basically, we land. Uh, and the problem was that um, apparently there's no staff, which is a little bit unusual. I don't know if this happened to you. I flew a couple of times from Luton Airport, from Gatwick, um, but uh, this never happened to, to us, which is a little bit strange in my opinion. Um, so we had to stay there for one hour, which is a little bit unusual. So what we did is, we sat down in the in the airplane 
and some of the people they start to get a little bit frustrated because it's a late night and in the end you want to go home you don't want to stay extra one hour in the in the plane actual plane which is a little bit strange um, and 11 o'clock this is not the end we had to collect our luggage because we had a 20k suitcase uh, the collection for the luggage was a total mess as well because before us there was a another three planes that they was waiting for the luggage so we was fourth so we spent there about 30 to 40 minutes to collect our luggage and in the end we luckily we collect our luggage everything was fine everything was nice um we spent like four hours to get home i mean I don't know, this was crazy, but luckily we was everything was fine. Uh we we was at home two o'clock. Um but I don't know if this happened to you. This is a common problem for for some of the stuff. I understand that not many people are willing to work, especially with this crisis now. Um but I don't know, it's a little bit strange that they don't have a stuff um, plus 10 o'clock is not like very very late it is still late but I understand if it's like a midnight or 1 o'clock which is a little bit it's quite late in my opinion but 10 o'clock is, is, is alright still late but not a uh, big difference and the fact that we had to wait one hour just somebody to bring the ladder and there's no stuff and a few planes was waiting as well and then we had to wait about 30 40 minutes for our luggage which again it's another interesting thing so this was our experience but other than that we had amazing time in greece um so i don't know if this happened to you with luton airport it's a nice airport it's a small airport but it's a strange thing to happen um strange thing to happen to us but other than that yeah this is our story with luton airport no hard feelings again this is not a problem no complaining or uh, just sharing my story and amazing experience that we had in greece but yeah let me know what do you think this is my first episode if you have any interesting idea let me know in the comments down below um, let me know if you have an interesting story you can share it in the comments uh, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video